Yeah, quite funny. There came some, some people along before and they asked me what, I, what I'm photographing because there is nothing. <laughs> Hi my friends, a very good morning. I'm on the same road trip and in my last video I just came over to another spot because I didn't find any possibilities for, for woodland photography this morning and to be honest I also didn't look here in this area now but anyway I think the conditions are not bad. They are clear sky predicted but we have a little bit of fog here now at the moment and I think back there is a, a little lake that could be that it's possible to get some great photographs out there, so let's try for that. It's totally creepy, and the reason why I'm whispering is I get followed by three old women in that dark morning. I mean, it's really early, and I didn't expect that there would be anyone, but there are three old women who are really running fast. However, this helps me at least to be hopefully early enough up there to like. Oh, I got managed that the old women overtook me and they are not that old by the way. I thought they were old, I'm not sure why, <laughs> but however, I came into this uh, nice woodland here now and I would say lake, camera, click, no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so stress is over, really. I ran up here, it's amazing. But yeah, this, 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 um, this road trip is all about coming down after a really hard week. I had a really hard week and yeah, I came in here. There is woodland and I found this fantastic view out there and, and the fantastic thing what I really like here is we don't see all too much. We are just the reeds here and, and the silhouette of, of this uh, kind of island back there with uh, a little bit of trees and so on. I'm not sure if you can see this here. And a quite important character here for this composition is this root here in the foreground. Now, because it points here at the left hand side, it points to the right hand side and it anchors our image, it's our foreground. And it, yeah, it's, even, it's even the subject maybe of, of this, of this uh, composition and it's a quite simple one. It's a kind of starter composition. Sometimes I need a composition just to get in. Yeah, and it is amazing, this mood here, so fantastic. And I, I should not take too long here. I think that the fog will not stay for all the day. So I would say, let's make the click. Ah, oh, what a morning. And I found one more composition before I was back there at the shore. And now I just came over here at the other side. And yeah, we have also some reeds here, but yeah, I, I don't photograph them. I found something different. I found these trees back there and they make a really fantastic reflection to the ground. It's a little better to, to see them from the camera pos uh, position. But what I want to show you is um, this rock here. I, I use this rock here to anchor my image. This is a quite important one. You will see it in the image then. We have also these rocks here at the right hand side and this tree and leaning all the, the branches uh, to, the, to the lake. And yeah, the symmetry of, of this um, horizontal symmetry axis, top and bottom is, is uh, mirrored, obviously. And I really like this. And we, we need the fog in the distance to simplify, to, uh, to simplify the scene, to get a fantastic backdrop, or to get no backdrop, obviously. So yeah, it's really a really fantastic composition. 
And quite important if you want to photograph uh, reflections is that you consider the height of your camera position. And I try to, to go down as low as possible and, and to be honest, usually I would go even lower. The only thing is, you know, I have a knee injury and I do quite hard with going out too low with my knees and so on. So this is the lowest possible, but the lowest possibility for me here. And the, the reason why it's, it's necessary to go low is um, the symmetry is better because when we are too high, the, the reeds what would go up here in, in the in the distance are a little bit too high. I mean, it's not the biggest problem for this composition. Maybe it's it's even good to bring it a little bit out of balance, just that you also recognize what you see. But yeah, it's just a thing you should consider. And I would say, let's make the click. I'm always looking a little bit at the lake here and what I can see here now is that a little bit of wind comes in so the, the fog goes in, in that direction and yeah it, it gets already a little bit resolved. I hope not too quickly because yeah I want to take one more photograph and yeah fog is a really fantastic stylistic instrument or a great composition. So yeah I'm not sure back there is a a hat or something like that. So, yeah, it doesn't look all the bad here. With all the steaming water here, it's really, really fantastic. So, if it's possible to see back there, this could maybe work. I also see kind of dead wood here in the, in the lake. I really love dead woods. It's so amazing. Ah, but we can't see the hut. <laughs> we can't see to the other side of the, of the hut. That's not good. But yeah, the question now is, should we wait or should we go a little bit more back there to look for another composition? It's always, always a, a, difficult, a difficult decision. Usually what I do in such a case is, and I'm not sure, should I stay or should I go? I, I just look at my composition, I look if it's telling the story I want to tell. If everything works, you know, balance and contrast and, and colors, everything like that. But yeah, when you look back there, there's not all too much I could, con I could consider here now in the moment. It's just all about risking. But I, I know there's a hut back there. I know, I think the mountains go down like that and another side a little bit more like that. So it could also be that we would get a, a little reflection there. What starts and ends, this is always uh, important uh, that they have a, a kind of vanishing point anywhere. So, but it's all depends what we see all depends on on the fog, on the amount of fog we have here. I think that the view out there is not, is not all too bad. I think I will risk it. Let's stay here for a while and fingers crossed that we will get out a fantastic photograph. I have built up just a rough composition because I, I don't know exactly where the hut is. I think it is a little bit left beside this, um, this dead wood there. And there we would have fantastic yeah, trees with autumn colors. Same way like, uh, as we have here. And yeah, we just are not able to see them. And the really important thing here is to check out the capability of the, of the lens I have on. So when I zoom out, what do I see? When I zoom in, how, how, how far can I zoom in? How that I can estimate how I can react quickly when it gets a little bit resolved. I also don't use a lens hut. Usually I do this because yeah, you always get a little bit of drops maybe onto your glass. Or, yeah, it's also a little bit better for scattered light and so. But you are much more flexible if you don't have it on. So with, with um, yeah, adjusting the lens hood, uh, uh, not the lens hood, um, the polarizer obviously. So, yeah, it's all about waiting here now and fingers crossed that it works. 
be totally risk here, but it could lead into a really fantastic photograph. Hopefully, I'm not sure. Ah, it's quite chilly here. So, came already into my jacket here. And yeah, it, it, it really takes a while. It didn't change any, anything. I, I think I'm already here for 30 minutes, something like that. And what I, what I tried already is, I, I tried to use this, um, this dead wood here, the left hand side, to balance my right hand side here with these autumn trees. I mean, this, the trees with the autumn colors. That's a really simple composition, but I really like this, I have to say. So, yeah, quite funny. There came some, some people along before and they asked me what, I, what I'm photographing because there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's always anything, obviously. So, I would say let's try for that and afterwards I will still wait a little bit. So where's my remote release? Oh, here it is. <laughs> so I would say let's make the click. So to souls now, as you can see, it looks really fantastic. We have the, the hat back there, we have the statue down there. And it really works here also with this reflection of the hill. It doesn't touch, this was really important for me. And yeah, it really works. And I have to be quick here now to expose, so let's make the click. The conditions are really amazing. And the fog got already a little bit more meanwhile. So we had a better view back there before. And I got some really fantastic photographs. I'm really happy about. So what I've done is I also tried to find a composition at the right hand side because we have more autumn colors there. I mean, it's just, it's just closer, this is the reason. But it's quite difficult because yeah, we have this vertical, uh, not vertical, we have this diagonal here from the, from the right hand side back there to the vanishing point. And it's difficult to pick out details here from, from, this, from this position. But anyway, at the, at the end of this um, kind of island or whatever this is, um, yeah, I, I think I got out the composition. It leans a little bit to the right. And at the left hand side, we have just lots of fog and so on. But I, I think this could really work because it, it tells a really fantastic story. And we don't know what's at the left hand side. And this is really a good thing for our imagination when, when we look at this photograph. I found a fantastic composition. I'm really, really happy with this one. So I came a little bit over here to the, to the other side of this lake and we see the hut back there. The same hut we saw already before, but here we have the sun now coming from the right hand side, illuminating us the trees back there. And especially that one, that orange one, is really, really fantastic because I can use it to balance my, my hut here at the right hand side. And yeah, it also tells this fantastic story of an autumn morning and yeah, it's, it's so, so amazing. Also this tree here straight left beside this hut, it's a little bit illuminated and it's quite white and bright and it looks really fantastic. Same conditions like before, the steaming water and everything here, it's so amazing. I'm really happy with this one. And from a technical side, I use a circular polarizer to get out the orange a little bit more. And like this, amazing now, I would say. Let's make the click.
found one more composition and it's really fantastic. We have this fantastic view over this lake. You have at the left hand side, we have these trees. In autumn colors, we have autumn colors at the right hand side with these trees. And back there, <laughs> a mountain face is appearing in the fog. It's really amazing. And we have all this steaming water here. <laughs> it's so fantastic. I have a circular polarizer on just to get the glare a little bit down in the water. And I would say, let's make the click. It was a really good idea that I came out these two days. I had a quite hard week this week. And these two days of landscape photography, a little bit of van life and so on, really brought me up again, gave me energy again. And my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up. Share this video with your friends on Instagram or Facebook. It would really help me to grow this channel. And thank you so much for watching. See you next Saturday. Bye.